I made it. I'm at Grand Tetons National Park. And that highest peak that you can see in the center there, that's the Grand Teton. It's 13,775 feet high. It looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get into the park and check this place out. It's gonna be so good. Let's go. Grand Teton National Park was one of the most beautiful places I visited while in America. Established in 1929, Grand Teton National Park covers 310,000 acres. This national park was also where I saw my very first herd of wild bison. My brother pulled over on the side of the road, I got out the car, grabbed my GoPro, but that just wasn't going to cut it, so I switched over to my Sony ZV-E10. Now I don't have the best lens in the world, I used the 200mm kit lens that came with the camera, but that was enough to give me the reach I needed to get a closer shot. This is what it's like when people spot a herd of bison grazing on the side of the road. <laughs> I'm going to show you more of this beautiful area, but before I do, check out my intro reel to see some of the other exciting adventures I get up to in the great outdoors. After we had hiked out to Phelps Lake, which was featured in my last YouTube video, we decided to make our way to the Jenny Lake Visitor Center to get some extra information about the park. Alrighty, I am heading out to Taggart Lake. I stopped in at the Visitor Center and spoke to one of the rangers. They said Taggart Lake was a must see, so I'm heading out there now on this beautiful trail Looks like I've got the whole place to myself. That's not true though, there's plenty of people in the park today. And I'm about to head into the woods. Let's go. We also passed some rivers and streams as well as this cascading waterfall with a glimpse of Grand Teton in the background. Taggart Lake is an easy out and back three mile loop trail but we also added on a visit to Bradley Lake to our hike, which made it about a nine mile return trip to our vehicle. I really loved all of the crystal clear water that was flowing down from the mountains in the different national parks and state parks while I was exploring America. It was so clear, you could see the fish swimming around in the river systems and it was just absolutely fantastic. I saw a rubber snake at Phelps Lake this morning and this one here's a powder snake, pretty cool. All along this hike, you get pretty spectacular views of the Grand Teton mountain range. So one thing I've noticed, because we're so close to the mountains or because we're up in the mountains, the weather changes so quickly. It was hot when we started this small hike and now it's throwing it down. You kind of have to prepare for all weather conditions. <laughs> When we were at Rocky Mountain National Park, the weather changed quite quickly on us. It was a sunny day, and then it became overcast and cloudy, and then it started raining, a storm passed through. We ended up going on the Old Fall River Road, and that was absolutely stunning. Got to see a moose, which was fantastic. Taggart Lake covers 305 acres, and was named after William Rush Taggart, an assistant geologist who worked for Frank Bradley. Both of these men visited Grand Teton National Park in 1872 as part of a geographical survey of the territories commonly known as the Hayden Survey.
This was incredible. I had to take a moment to enjoy this one. Big thank you to my brother and nephew for grabbing some camera shots I typically wouldn't be able to get, but then this happened. Ho ho ho, I have the GoPro. Ha ha ha. My brother and his family have been living in America for over 15 years now and are US citizens. And this was the first opportunity I had had to hang out with them since their big move. And it was just great seeing all these fantastic locations that they were taking me to. So I've just finished checking out Taggart Lake. Taggart Lake is insanely beautiful. Never seen anything like that before. Now I'm on this trail. This trail is gonna take me to Bradley Lake. So it'll be interesting to see how it compares to Taggart Lake. Let's go find out. So I showed you the footage before, it absolutely threw it down, I got soaked. The sun's out already, again, it rained for five minutes maybe, sun's back out, I'm already dry, <laughs> check this out, what? The Grand Tetons as delivered in a way that I couldn't possibly have imagined. It is so beautiful in this area, my goodness. <laughs> On this hike, you get to walk through some pretty pristine alpine forest full of pine trees, sagebrush, and aspen trees. It is beautiful. As I came over this ridge, I got my first sneak peek of Bradley Lake. Well, I've made it to Bradley Lake. It looks absolutely stunning. I think Taggart Lake trumps it, but this is still fantastic. Got the mountains in the background. Looks absolutely amazing. I just want to share an interesting little fact with you all that I learnt while I've been out here exploring the national parks. I am currently in a grove or a thicket of aspen trees. What I've actually learned is that these are actually all one tree. The root system is all connected underground and then new trees sprout up from those root systems from I guess the original parent tree. So yeah, really interesting. We had an absolutely fantastic first day exploring the Grand Tetons National Park and after hiking out to Phelps Lake, Taggart Lake and Bradley Lake we had clocked up around 35,000 steps for the first day and I was excited to see what day two had to offer. Good out here. Love it. Look at this tree up here. It's absolutely beautiful. Everywhere I go, I just want to take my camera out and share more content with you. This is the most amazing, the most stunning hike I've ever done in my life. It's incredible.
after checking out the absolutely stunning Bradley Lake and the spectacular Taggart Lake, it was time to head back to the car. Everything out here is absolutely incredible. Grand Tetons National Park should be on everybody's bucket list. It's insane. If you love hiking, if you love camping in the great outdoors, mate, this is, this place is spectacular. I cannot, I cannot begin to describe how good it is. There's so much I want to share with you all, but it's just impossible for me to fit it all in one video. You have to come out here and check it all out for yourselves. Okay, so we've driven all the way to the end of a road called Antelope Flats, and then we've turned left and followed the road all the way out to this gravel car park, which is right on the edge of the National Park. You can see the Tetons behind me. You're not allowed to fly drones in the National Park, but here we are just outside the park, so I'm going to send my drone up and get some footage. Please join me in my next video as I explore Hurricane Pass and the amazing views along the way. I'm behind Grand Teton. And until next time, enjoy life, have a great time, and life is short, so go find yourself an adventure because you deserve it.